Ladies and gents, welcome back. As you can see, we've got a very muted, coloured, themed uh, gear video for you today. I'm going to be taking a look over the Millspec Monkey Raw hoodie. Um, I've actually looked at this in the past. Uh, I had one a couple of years back that I did a video on, but the Monkey sent me over a, a new one in their new MSM Grey, as it's known. Uh, so we're going to take a look over it. The hoodie itself, as far as the construction is concerned, you've got a nine ounce upper mid weight 50 50 uh, cotton polyester mix fleece fabric which is really really comfortable uh, i've actually had this thing for a little while but i got it back in the summer so i've been waiting until the temperature dropped so now i can finally film this this video about it this is a great thing for me in terms of in terms of the, the gear that i actually am sent occasionally to put out videos on this is one of the best things i've had in terms of the fact that I use it all the time. And basically when I'm reaching for any sort of insulating layer, any sort of jacket, this is what I'm going for an awful lot of the time when I'm just in the house, going around town, whatever, just doing general stuff and I just wanna keep warm. I, I go for this, I use it so much and I, I genuinely really like love the thing, it's great. Is it um, something you wanna integrate into like a PCU type system, like a layering system. Given the fabric, given it's 50% cotton, I would say probably not so much. You could push it into that role, but this isn't really a like a military style garment, to be honest. It's more you know, everyday sort of wear, realistically. The colors it comes in are OD green, charcoal, which is sort of very dark gray, and this MSM gray. So color wise, you've got that. and. As standard, it will come with loop patches, four by four inch on each arm on your upper arm. So you can use it for that, but I, I, I think it's much better as just a nice everyday jacket. Right now it's pretty chilly out. I've literally just got a thin t-shirt and this on. And honestly, considering how thin it is, it packs down really small, uh, as I say, a thin fabric. And for how thin it is, it doesn't have any business being as insulating as it is. It's a pretty decent wind blocker and it just keeps you far warmer than you would expect when you pick it up. It doesn't seem to have much of a thick insulation to it, uh, but it, it just seems to work really well. They've picked a good fabric here. It's made in the US, which is surprising given the, the pricing on it. It's not particularly expensive at all. So in, in, with all those attributes, I really like it. Features wise, you've got an elasticated cuff, which I'm a fan of. You can also do the old sort of half glove thing, which is nice. As I mentioned, it will come with four by four inch, nicely rounded corners loop squares on each upper arm. If you don't want Velcro on your clothing, which I didn't personally, uh, you literally five minutes with a little thread unpicker, they're gone and you never know they were there. There's nothing, there's no marking left on there. Full length zips, a YKK zip. You sort of split kangaroo style pockets on the front nice and soft uh, lining of the the inside face of the fabric in here really warm i like uh it's very tempting to just walk around sort of with your hands in these pockets all the time standard cotton drawstrings to adjust the hood double layered hood uh won't keep that up because the hoods don't suit me but it's a decent size elasticated on the waist again the inside fabric is just it's gonna be hard to see but it's incredibly comfortable. That's, that's another reason. On top of the insulation and just the fit and everything else about this, that's another reason I reach for it so often uh, because it is just super comfy. Uh, sizing wise, as far as American sizings go, you'll generally want to go up one if you want a slightly looser fit. This is a medium, which uh, for me, I buy everything medium and the fit on me is Bot on this is absolutely perfect for me my old one was a small and it shrank a bit in the wash and it just didn't end up fitting me anymore because it was uh, it was on a small side when i first got it and once it shrank it was no good but feature wise it, it's a hoodie it's really nice if you want a nice jacket you know a nice warm jacket over this winter check it out coloring wise this is the interesting part this is a completely new color that milspec monkey developed themselves not a new color, obviously, colors all already existed. Basically, Millspoke Monkey, they looked, or the, the main man himself, uh, he essentially looked at Wolf Grey, which has obviously gained a massive amount of po popularity in recent years, and 
actually compared it to some some realistic urban environments and said hmm, it's a bit you know it's a bit too dark blue in terms of the hue it's a bit too strong of a gray and actually most concrete and buildings and roads etc etc aren't really this color now i tried to go out around the sort of suburban london here and try and get a few pictures of my own but um Millspit monkey has two articles published on how they came up with these new colors and they've got tons of pictures in there which are really really good and i strongly encourage you to check those articles out i'm going to link them in the description i tried to get a few similar pictures myself but they just didn't come out nearly as well so check those articles out and you can actually see how this specific colorway which is somewhere in between your wolf gray and your ranger green here and as an urban colorway it actually makes an awful lot of sense there's a lot of movement in this direction and i think in future years we're going to see more and more gear when it comes to plate carriers camo etc etc in this sort of very half and half muted kind of shade that can't really make up is it gray is it green is it coyote is somewhere in the middle ground if i stand next to the gray as you can see quite a big difference it's slightly closer to the ranger green i've also got some pcu trousers on just here these are the older ones before they went to aor this is what was called uh, Alpha Green, I think. Uh, these, these are the level five soft shell. And this is actually a pretty close color to the MSM gray. Pretty similar sort of idea because this, this gray was sort of a mixture of a wolf ranger green and coat with a little bit of coaty brown in there. And depending what environment you go into, it's a bit like multicam, but in a solid color. You've also got like Claw Gear and UF Pro that produce some gear in a, in a color called Rowl. 7013 i think it is off the top of my head and that is not a million miles off this shade at all the, these are all these are all working on the same idea no one's quite matched up and settled on the exact shade and pinned it down because it's going to vary from company to company but if we look in the middle here this is a russian soft shell jacket this is from gripper 99 and this again i i, I think they call it so it's some sort of gray or green they call it but it's not it's not gray or green uh, hopefully the camera picks up that it's actually extremely close to the color of the msm gray and it's very interesting i think as i say there's a lot of companies who are going to go down that avenue when in terms of kit in future uh, as far as solid colors go it just blends in with the most different types of environments especially urban environments but mountainous areas it does pretty well in in forests and stuff desert meh not so much maybe um arid environments but if they're rocky maybe but it's a bit possibly not ideal but it's it, it, it could be all right it's it's um it's an interesting concept i'm definitely gonna be interested to see how it proliferates over time which as i say i think it will hopefully the comparison you've got here as i say ranger green here on my right your left probably uh wolf gray arcteryx wolf gray cry ranger green just here um, and it slots pretty neatly into the middle which is why i've also got the soft shell here so i think it's it's pretty interesting the hoodie itself is great i'm wearing this one all the time this winter i've been wearing it regularly for the last couple of months as soon as the temperatures dropped and i could wear it i've been wearing it link will obviously be in the description so check out down there guys check out my website all my social media stuff like that Appreciate you coming by and watching. I'll see you next time.